Hello, hello, mom and dad meet world. So this video is a little bit different than uh, what I had wanted to make, but uh, it just got me thinking. And I thought to myself, why not put a video out about it? Because, well, as I said, it got me thinking with one question that I had actually asked. So uh, let me give you a little bit of backstory on this. So uh, our internet has been out since uh, Tuesday morning, very, very early Tuesday morning. It is now Friday, so we are on to four full days right now of no internet. We are through Quantum Fiber. Uh, they are a division of CenturyLink, so this is nothing against uh, that company or those companies or anything like that. Uh, we just have fiber optic internet here in our particular area. So we are slated to get 960 download, 960 upload, and uh, it's very, very quick. And that is exactly what we got. And uh, when it's working, uh, connected to wired uh, ethernet. So fast forward to our internet being down and it is down because of, uh, of either vandalism, theft, combination of both. Uh, somebody had come into our neighborhood and cut a bunch of fiber lines out. Uh, these fiber lines are not buried. They're actually out. They are exposed. Uh, they're up high. And uh, according to the technician, they had got them with Sawzall. Uh, according to them, not the smartest thing in the world because, well, not only is it creating an outage and a big uh, cost of, of, you know, money and time and uh, all this inconvenience for everybody else, but it is also because that is not uh, the main source of copper. That's actually more glass than anything else. And that particular line, uh, they would have to actually go to the DSL and to the phone line if they wanted to get the copper because this is mainly just glass uh, through the fiber line. So uh, with that being said, long and short is uh, I have been using uh, the iPhone 16 Pro Max right here. Uh, I have been using this to tether for the past few days. First day, we just went to a coffee shop. Uh, that was fine and dandy, but uh, ends up costing you quite a bit because, well, uh, you're not gonna work at a coffee shop for free. You gotta order, uh, you gotta patronize the business, which we did. And so being out a few bucks, we're like, okay, so we were just going to tether off the phone, which we did. Unfortunately, we only get one to two bars of LTE and it is quite a drain on the battery. So I've been trying not to um, actually charge up the phone, uh, run it from 100 to as low as possible uh, before we need to charge. And uh, luckily it's actually been getting me through the day with eight to 10 plus hours of tethering, going to another MacBook or a couple MacBooks. Uh, plus uh, an Apple TV for just streaming. As our technician was here, I asked this one question that made me think about this video and for creating it for not only myself, but for any of you watching. Um, I asked, so how often does this happen? How often would somebody uh, cut down these lines for either theft or vandalism or, or whatever? And the answer he gave me was, oh, you'd be surprised more than you think you should have a backup when this happens. And so I had already been thinking the day before is, well, I'm thinking we should probably uh, go to Comcast, go to Best Buy, get a modem, and have our own backup for when this happens next time. It's very rare from what I'm thinking, but according to our technician, it happens a lot more than anticipated. So family kind of called me crazy, but I said, nope. Uh, so we ended up going to Best Buy, um, not sponsored or anything. This is just something we had picked up. This is a modem and router, wireless router combo, uh, which, which we had just picked up from Best Buy yesterday. Wanted to pick up the most inexpensive one uh, we could find, which we did. It is this particular model right here. Um, again, uh, this is not a, not a product review, not anything like that. Uh, it's not even an internet review or an internet comparison. Uh, what I just want this video to be is a thought of, hey, if your internet were to go down, maybe we should have some sort of backup. Their suggestion uh, to ourselves was, hey, I've got a T-Mobile hotspot. Uh, they had just gotten it for themselves. That is their backup. That is their redundancy. So 
with us, with me working from home, working remotely, I thought to myself, well, um, we want to make sure that uh, our internet is not down. And if it is down, uh, we want to make sure we can use uh, that we could use lots of data and it's fast. So uh, we had originally gone away from Comcast because the upload speed was nowhere near as fast as it is with Quantum. But as a redundancy, I wanted to make sure we had something. So um, no contract. And the modem is modem router is our own equipment. Yes, we could have bought or yes, we could have borrowed and according to Comcast, it would have been uh, free of charge for the first two years, but we didn't want to, we didn't want to have any uh, connection, any ties because uh, when our internet does come back on, we'll just pay for the month. Anything does happen, uh, we can call up Comcast, get right back on, reactivate the same line, same service, and they can do that all very, very quickly, which is a plus. Um, and so fast forward to yesterday, uh, we got this up and going. Um, with our particular lines, we do run uh, from what you saw in the very beginning of the video of all that flashing orange light. We've got another uh, router set up. Uh, this is another network that we are actually running bridged. So bridge meaning um, it's not actually uh, doing any of the routing, whether it be wired or wireless routing. It's just taken whatever settings from the main, which uh, our quantum, we have our own uh, wireless router slash router. And then with Comcast, we bought this router and uh, modem slash router already set up, already configured. So our network is actually running in bridge mode um, with this particular network that we, we mainly use for um, our wire wired particularly and with wireless so if we need to switch over it's a matter of pulling one ethernet cable from going from this and then putting the other internet cable the ethernet cable coming from uh, quantum into this uh, into this switch and then it changes everything back over again with it being bridged we can just plug and play uh, pull one ethernet cable out put the other one back in and we're set to go uh, with the other internet service provider. So just a little bit of food for thought out there in case you two are in the neighborhood where this has happened. It's created some sort of a little bit of mini chaos in your life, which it has with us. But um, I know this is such a first world problem, very, very minute, but just a little bit of food for thought that um, if you've had your internet go down, whether it be uh, Comcast or whether it be another service, another internet service provider, definitely make sure you have another backup. Uh, could there, could definitely be like a, uh, a cell phone hotspot, uh, uh, carrier hotspot, something like that where, where you've got ample amounts of data yet with some fast service. That horn right there is my cue. That is the alarm going on in my neighborhood behind me. And here we are thinking it was somewhat safe, but uh, that is my cue to end this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was somewhat informative. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.